I'm Gary French. I'm the host of a TV show called Firebase. Firebase is a Christian conservative TV show. We've covered a lot of topics that you'll be interested in. We want to look at what's happening in our nation and around the world from a Christian conservative point of view. Firebase comes from a U.S. Army military terminology from the field artillery. Firebase is the center of operations. It's where we, we would control the fire or target the enemy, and we would fire for effect from that location. That's why we like to say Firebase is the Christian conservative choice where we target the lies by firing for effect with God's truth. This yeah. is a yeah. spiritual battle. And until Amen. Christians attack it in that manner, you will Amen. lose every time. We've never seen lying, misrepresentation, deception at a level like this. This nation is divided. That's what this country was grounded on. It wasn't grounded on collective liberty. It was individual liberty. This nation doesn't know who it is, Gary. And yeah. they, for someone to say that our founding fathers, the majority of them were atheists or deists, is a, a display of gross ignorance. We can't even define any longer what it means to be an American. Every right and truth concerning liberty set forth in the Declaration of Independence was preached from American pulpits prior to 1763. Benjamin Franklin had a great quote. He said, to put forth benefit for the common good is divine. Well, we should be very concerned because we've been in a cultural war for a very long time in our country, but actually it started in the Garden of Eden. Uh, when you think about what God said, <laughs> this right. is yours, that's mine. When you think about how he spoke to Adam and Eve uh, and created, he said he created, he created male and female. Transvestites come in and read to them during story time. In some drag schools. queens, some drag queens coming drag queens. in, the little kids. Yeah. Well, 3860 is a bill that I wrote that says that you can't give, you can't force members of the military to take the COVID vaccine, which by the way, they're not forcing them yet. But if they change the designation at the FDA from experimental to approved, the, a lot of members of the military are worried that at that point they will be forced. In the meantime, they're being coerced. Because we're going to go green and you know, save the world. Well, we still need those 2 million barrels per day. All we're doing now is purchasing them overseas, shipping them over here, and then still burning them domestically. It's done nothing but drive inflation up. We have an unsustainable future. So they're going to have to do several things, raise taxes enormously, cut benefits. At what point are we going to see that happen? Social Security, Medicare administration is saying that by the year 2031, they've got to cut benefits 22 percent in order to stay healthy. We're already seeing the trajectory in just a handful of years. The years you and I, for example, at our age group may need right. some of the benefits. They'll be cut. Where we go as a nation the next 10, 20, 30 years, this is a fact is determined by what competencies and skills we teach our children today in the classroom. The Marxist movement uh, told us in 1958, basically, what they were going to do to take over America right. uh, in, a book, in a book called The Naked Communist. And, and they were going to remove history from the, from the schools and they were going to inculcate socialism. So the public schools, this is just following this... Uh, model that the Marxist movement in America laid out. And critical race theory was voted down by the board because the people got up and spoke. President Trump came to town, then the aggressive left came unglued. Uh, it did create a hard environment, not just for myself, but many of those that work closely with him. The most important structure in our society is the family, the intact family. It is yeah. not the church. It is the family. Yeah, preach you it. cannot yeah. have a healthy society if you do not have a healthy, intact family structure. Let's take a look at the Cultural Revolution in China in 1966. You're going to see a lot of similarities. Our culture, our Christian faith, is the mortar that keeps the bricks together. Amen. You take that mortar out, 
we become a nation of individuals. It totally collapses. And I'll tell you what, then, yeah, then they can have socialism. We remind ourselves of our rebirth at that moment. Amen. And we don't allow Amen. Marxist communists to change the country. They're after the founding principles because the founding of this country was rooted in a Judeo-Christian heritage. We're going to have to find different ways to get the message out. If they, if they shut down free press, they shut down big tech, they shut down mainstream media, we have to get the truth through other mechanisms. Uh, the only thing they really don't control right now on the far left is the church and the family. And so those are where we need to stay focused on. Those are really the last lines of defense, but they're the strongest lines of defense, aren't they? Hey Amen. We have failed to stay in alignment and in the word of Christ. Yes. So the reason why you're so easily overtaken by the wiles out there in the world is because you haven't studied to show your self-approved God. You can't rightly divide what's true and not true. And that's how you get shaken. What we're looking at today with this philosophy of LGBTQ and their agenda and their movement wow. is a direct assault on that particular scripture that said God created. Revival and reformation come when men of God, i.e. the pastors and clergy, rise up and speak to issues of the day. Amen. And that's what birthed this nation. They spoke against tyranny. They yeah. spoke yeah. against the evils. And it was God able, who was able to watch over his word and perform it and protect them through impossible situations. If more would get that message that are sitting in the church, then they, they may change their school. They may actually change their community and they may even change the political environment if they start really looking at it, their life as one part of a bigger Christian story. This yeah. is a yeah. spiritual battle. And until Amen. Christians attack it in Amen. that manner, you Amen. will lose every time. Well, friends, there you have it. I hope that you found this short video clip interesting. And I hope that it's motivated you not only to support us, but to tune in on a regular basis, whatever station, whatever channel you happen to see Firebase on. And know that we will always target the lies by firing for effect with God's truth. Again, I'm Gary French. I'm the host of Firebase, and I hope that in the very near future, we'll see one another. God bless.